morning guys if you have just hopped on i am sam and this is nicole and um, now it's pretty chilly today so we are going to have a warm-up we're going to do some fun activities um before we start you might get a little bit hot later on so grab yourself your water bottle and also guys i need you to just ask mom and dad, or if you have some cushions that are nearby, you can grab some cushions. So, you can see over here, we have two of the cushions from the couch. You don't need to actually take your couch apart. You can even just grab two little cushions off your couch, okay? Or pillows from your bed. Or pillows from your bed, and also, we don't have any shoes on, so we're gonna work without shoes today okay it's going to make it a little bit harder because we're going to do some balance work later on okay so two cushions from the couch or two pillows your water bottle will give you just a little bit longer just to sort that out and then we'll get started okay all right so we'll go into a stretch while people are getting their things organized and then just join us for the stretch when you are ready. Once you're ready, yeah, perfect. Reaching up and let's do some big circles. Stretching right out, sweeping down below, reaching up. Big circles. Warm up that body a bit, certainly cold out there today. So cold. And going in the opposite direction. Make sure you're reaching right up. One more circle. Hopefully a few people have joined us now, got those pillows, cushions ready. Let's just continue a little more stretching. Roll those arms back. Backstroke arms. Five or six big circles on each arm. Oh, it'll be good when we can go swimming again when it's a bit warmer. <laughs> Do some backstroke in the pool. Other arm. Yeah, well, I'll call this the backstroke arm. So the little pinky goes down first. Twist your arm as it's going around. Probably do some butterfly as well if you like. Oh, do you want to show us? Butterfly <laughs> arms. Round. Two together. Use those shoulders. Yeah, Nicole's a good swimmer, me not so much. <laughs> Butterfly. Loosening up the joints in the shoulders, getting warm. And let's go into some leg swings. Leg swings, just trying to kick that leg forward and back. Balance. Try and balance. Going to be working on that a bit later with those cushions. And it's harder without those shoes on. Swapping legs. Oh, is that your lovely side? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I reckon just a little fast feet. Get the heart rate up a little. Yeah, before we start those exercises. Got quite a solid little workout to start. Really trying to warm you up in this weather, but do some good I'll get my time cardio ready. as well. So we're going to be doing, you can keep going there on your feet for a sec. We're going to be doing six different exercises for 30 seconds each. With a 15 second rest in between. 
right? And we're going to go through that twice. So you need to be ready for our first round. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We'll be starting with some high knee. So we're gonna go from a little jog to a sprint, okay? And we're gonna be there for 30 seconds, okay? Are you guys ready? Give me a thumbs up. All right. Thumbs up. In three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds. No High knees. knees. Get the knees up. Look at Sam go. See if you can keep up with her. Nice, nice. Woo. Keep it going, Sam. Come on, keep it going out there. Halfway. All the way, come on. Uh, push, push, push. Five seconds. Woo. Two, one, well done. 15 seconds rest. Your next one is going to be a wide leg. Squat down, come together. Squat down, come together. Get ready. And go. Wide leg squat. A little bit easier than those jogs. Keep your form and squat down into the heels. Halfway, guys. And keep the pace up a little, a little faster. Three, two, one. And our next well one, guys, we're going into your so if you can only do little ones, that's okay. If you can do nice big ones, even better, okay? Try not to touch your back foot to the ground. Go! Here we go. Skaters, get that back foot back. And again, it's a little bit harder because we don't have shoes on. So we're a bit wobbly now. Halfway, 15 seconds to go. Keep going, keep going. And my socks are starting to. Five work. seconds. Three, two, one. Woo. Well done. 15 seconds rest, and we're going into jumping jacks. You all know jumping jacks by now. Okay. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Jumping jacks or star jumps. Make sure I want you to actually touch the hands above your head. Oh, there we go. Good pace, good pace. Speed it up. Yeah, nice. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Now, because you guys are so cool, we are going to challenge you a bit more. So you in a plank position. And you're gonna jump or step your feet out and in. Okay? Get ready. Yeah. Go. Go! Plank jumps if you can. Try and keep that core and body nice and strong and stable in the center. Keep your bottom down. Sam's doing it well. 15 seconds to go, Sam. Keep with her. Come on. Don't stop. Eight seconds to go. Three, two, one. Woo. Well done. Next one. If you've got a lounge nearby or a chair, you're going to go down for some tricep dips. We're going to work the back of those arms now. All right. The lounge. Here we go. Make sure what you're working on is nice and stable. Keeping your bottom in nice and close to that lounge. Bend the elbow, straighten up. We're just over halfway, guys. You're doing great. Then you can have a water break in five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Well Grab done. some water. We're going to go through that one more time, aren't we? One more time, yeah. 
One minute break for some water. We're going to do that one more time. Some good exercises there. If you didn't have your lounge ready or something ready for those tricep dips, make sure you have it ready for the next time through. And we can even, if you don't have a couch nearby, we can even just do them on the ground. That's right? another way. If you, yeah. Somewhere where there's not really somewhere to put your hands on, you can do them on the ground there. Work in the back of the arms, that one is, the triceps. Okay. You should be ready. We're going to do one more round. So, can you remember what our first one was? Those nice high knees, okay? And again, 30 seconds. I want you to get those knees up as high as you can and we're going to really use those arms, okay? All right, three, two, one. Let's turn the music up. Here we go. My knees. Run, 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 run. Keep it going. I'm doing the easier version here. I'm doing my marching knees. Ten seconds. Should have warned you up 
up a bit for the day. Oh, definitely. Quick drink. And then you're going to get your cushions or your pillows out.
Let's do that other leg. leg. 30. Let's do one more on the other leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Fantastic, guys. I want you to keep practicing that one during the week, okay? Because we'll come back to it maybe in about two or three weeks. And then you can see how much you've improved there. I'm gonna practice that one. Definitely. <laughs> All right, now we are going to practice jumping from one pillow to the other pillow. So just make sure that you have enough space. You're not gonna maybe fall over and hit your head on a table or anything that's in the way, okay? And if you wanna challenge yourself, then you can just make your cushions a little bit further apart, okay? So we're gonna start on one cushion and I'll just show you what we're gonna do. And you're gonna jump onto the other cushion. Whoa, balance, okay? Then we're gonna turn around, jump. Whoa, balance. Let's make it a little bit harder. Yeah, let's. Good. Nice leapfrog. And balance. Well done. Let's do one more in each direction. One more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next one.
tap sound. Shall we do a hand tap to the side? Hand tap to the side. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit wobbly. It makes it quite hard. So you're trying to just tap the floor down beside each hand. Out wide, tap the floor. Look at Sam holding it strong in the legs. Keeping that core nice and strong. And Jen trying balancing on that one arm on the cushion makes it doubly hard. Oh yeah. Keep going. We'll do four more taps to each side. One, two, three, four. So four more to go. I meant each side. So now we're five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, and you are there. into those heels. I think it is time for a stretch. Yes. Let's move these out the way. All right. Shall we stretch the back of the legs? Shall we touch the floor? Nice and slow. Now if you can only touch your foot, you can touch your foot. If you can come further, Bring your hands onto the ground, you can do that. Nice deep breaths. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Slowly up. Roll up slowly. in that back. So shall we stretch out that lower back? I'm going to get you lying on your back. You're going to bend one leg, take your opposite hand, put it to the outside of your knee, you're going to lie flat on the ground and then just twist that leg across your body. You can help with your other hand. How do you go up with that one? It's a really nice stretch for that lower back. You might want to show this to mum and dad. All right, they need a stretch too, I'm sure. And this is a really good one for that back and upper glute. Okay, now you're gonna bend your other leg, take your opposite hand and pull that leg gently across the body. Deep breaths. I'm going to the other side, so I'm one behind. Nice way to finish off. Slowly release. Slowly coming up. And we're going to stretch up. Oh, big stretch. Reach down. And one more, slowly come up, reach up. Reach up, reach up, reach up. And down. Oh, I'm just gonna clasp my hands at the back. And do one forward that way. Nice deep breaths. Lean forward one more time.
so much for joining us and we will see you next week enjoy the rest of your week and hopefully if there's a break in the rain you can go and have a run around okay